guys it's Hannah here with you from lyrics from the throne room of heaven I hope you guys are doing well today so I've got some fresh lyrics for you guys and um, these lyrics of course are inspired by none other than the Holy Spirit of the Living God and always my hope is that it blesses you that it inspires you and that of course it ultimately points you back in the direction and why I say back I know sometimes we might be feeling disconnected from God but he is always with you his arms are always extended towards you and remember that he is for you so there are times in your life where you will have to Go in his presence and ask him for a fresh renewal of your walk with him and, of course, deeper intimacy between you and him. So this song today, it's called, You're the Love of My Life. So guys, we serve, we serve a God who loves us beyond what our our brains can compute there are times like when i'm thinking about i was love and like i would sit and i would soak in his presence listening to gospel music worship music and as i begin to think and reflect it's impossible for me not to be moved. I am always moved. I am moved. Sometimes I move to tears quickly. My heart wells up with gratitude. I am left speechless. Sometimes I just sit there and I'm like, oh my gosh, like, and this love, this love is mine, it's yours, it's ours who are in Christ. We have it forever. And it is a love that never wanes, that never fades. And guess what? This love cancels hate. This love cancels all manner of evil. What did he say? Overcome evil. How do you overcome evil? with his love so guys i hope the song blesses you God, you fill me with 
gives me so much for now. I said, God said, no weapons form against the chambres below. Oh, oh. It won't come to fruition. No, no. That won't come to fruition. No, 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 no. No weapons. No weapon, no, they won't come to fruition, they won't come to fruition, no weapons, no. captured my heart and you won't let it go cause you're the love of my life you fill me with hope you've captured my heart and you won't You've captured my heart Ooh, And you You won't let it go God, I thank you You'll never let it go No, no, no Ooh, You won't let You won't let your heart go If you give him your heart I can promise you Then by all means, let him show. He's the love of your life. Oh, remember, he will never let you go. Oh, if he's, if he's captured, if he's captured your heart, please let him show. Guys, be encouraged today. Oh, our oh God, there, there is no coincidences in the God we serve. This morning, I was going through my diary entries, and last year around this time, I was in an awful home environment, and in the strength of my father, I stood up against a whole bunch of vitriol, hatred, corruption, and uh, the mastermind behind it, um, it seems he took offense, and I had never experienced witchcraft attacks before. I know everybody has their different beliefs, but I do believe just as there is light, there is also darkness, but please take heart. The darkness shall never overcome the light. God's light always wins. Always. And while I was in this horrible pit, is what I refer to it, because I remember crying myself at night to sleep as I just felt like this constant pulling, pulling, and just constant attacks through witchcraft and pains and just nonsense that was designed to kill me nonetheless 
but God, he blocked it. Oh, yeah. And he brought me through. And of course, now it's added to my testimony of his wonders and of his grace. And I will in no way give any credit unto any evil force. Neither will I say that they are in any way greater than the power of God because God silenced those filthy, foul spirits that were attacking me through whomever took it upon themselves to launch these witchcraft attacks against me. And God kept me. And even now, he is keeping me. He will forever keep me. And I ended up seeing the diary entry that I had written last year, this same date, May 17th. And I was left speechless in every way wonderful. As I read it, I was reminded yet again of the faithfulness of the God we serve. And the Holy Spirit, oh my gosh, I would say, although that moment was horrible, it really stretched my faith. And it helped me come to complete reliance in God and upon His power. And the Holy Spirit was speaking to me and was encouraging me all throughout. And I wrote everything in my diary entry. And as I read everything I had written down that the Holy Spirit had told me has already came to pass. And oh my gosh, in that moment, I just, I said, thank you, God, for your faithfulness. And not only that, it shows that his hand of love is never from all of his children. He's ever always, always working for his for our good, for his glory in us. And even now, it reminds me that he's just getting started with me. And it was an encouragement. And as I reflected, it reminded me that, guys, we have a God who is so faithful. He is faithful to perform. There is nothing too hard for him. We serve a God. Who can do the impossible, guys? He can do the impossible. He will literally blow your mind and leave you speechless. And when I say blow it, it will be blown for the better. All the better. Hmm. And another thing before I go, remember that the God we serve is a giver of good gifts. He loves to bestow gifts upon his children. Go to him and get yours today. But more so, thank him for who he is. Spend intimate time in him and with him. And let him blow your socks off. Take care, guys.